I've now added all of my receptions to each of the uh, blocks in this diagram and I just want to review those quickly with you because that's what you need to reproduce at this stage of the exercise. The lamp here, uh, that has two uh, basic signals it receives. Uh, one signal that switches it on and one to switch it off, of course. The microwave emitter, uh, very analogously, I've added two signals there, two, two receptions to deal with the two signals. Again, one to switch it on and one to switch it off. Uh, the timer is uh, the most complicated of these blocks. It has to respond to a number of different things that going, uh, go on in the system. Um, for example, when the door is open and closed, it has to um, stop the timer. If the um, microwave is running and the door open, the time has to stop. Um, the, also, there are some signals to start the timer and stop the timer. Um, those come in from the start-stop button. So as you push the start-stop button, that starts and stops the timer. There's a reception to deal with the setting of the value of the timer, so you set it to two or three minutes or something like that, and a reception which deals with a clock tick, so an internal uh, tick event which is uh, counting the timer down. If I move across a little way here, you see again very analogous to the um, microwave uh, emitter and the lamp, the motor here has uh, uh, two sig two receptions relating to the signals to switch the motor on and off. And the display has uh, just only one reception and that deals with the um, a reception of, of uh, 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 like a display um, command, for example, you know, display two minutes or three minutes. So this will receive some data which is um, actually captured on the display. Um, and that's your next task, to replicate on that block definition diagram all of the receptions and all tied into their uh, uh, respective receptions, uh, sorry, respective signal types.